Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Saad Basim. I'm here to help you in your Amazon FBA journey to give you all my tips and tricks that makes your journey a little bit easier and to be able to achieve your goals much faster. So um, today's topic, we're going to talk about, about Q4. What's Q4, what to expect, why it's important, how to prepare for it, and every tips and tricks that I have to make sure that that you have a most successful and most profitable uh, Q4 in your journey because that's the most important period of uh, of the year where most of Amazon FBA sellers they make the most profit. So I want to make sure that we cover it early. I know we are only in August, but that's going to give you enough time to prepare and to make sure that you get your units and to get your product research done from now to make sure that you have enough time to get your units in in the right uh, in the right time and to make sure they're available uh, uh, for for buyers to purchase. So please, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe hit the like button um, and also hit the notification bell so every time we come on you'll get notified and you'll be able to get the latest tips and tricks every wednesday and saturday we are here every wednesday we have a full tutorial about a specific subject and every saturday we have live q a which is i would love for you to join us and ask us all the questions that you have and i'll be able to answer every question that you have and also if you want join our free uh, facebook group amazon fpa giants where we have a very 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 um a very um intimate group uh, they're willing to help each other and it's really uh, a great environment for people who are beginners and seasoned to get their uh, questions and share their journey with other people that have the same goal and they have the same um uh, the same um, uh, mindset so that's been said let's go ahead i prepared some slides for you for you guys to see everything so if you want to go back and see everything that what i have or what i say at least you have a slides that you can be able to read back and make sure you take notes while we are uh, doing that uh, specific video so let's go ahead and let me just share the slides and i hope you guys really see it so guys this is um this is uh, the slides about how to prepare for Q4 like a giant, which is, we know it's very close to our heart, is Amazon FBA giant, so I want to make sure that you guys really prepare like our group and everyone who I consult and I um, and I coach to make sure that you get the same kind of um, uh, tips and tricks and ideas uh, of uh, about Q4 and to prepare better. And I know I'm repeating myself, but trust me, you need to be really, really prepared for it. So um, let's talk now about what's q4 and why it's so important now first of all what's q4 q4 is the last three months of the year it's basically uh, october november and december these are the last three months of the year and usually in a business um, the year is divided in four quarters so you have the first quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter so the first is basically from january to march then from march to june and then from june to september and then from september to uh, uh to uh, december uh, which is that's what we're talking about q4 now um, uh, q4 uh, it's basically is very important because most of the sales uh, most of the products increase in sales and they go from 2x to 7x for most of us and also in specific cases which is very very special cases which is not something that i really recommend that if you want to order your products ordered by that time it can increase by 20 times which is really for big sellers who have a lot a lot of units uh, for people who have uh, maybe seasoned products that are only special for um, that specific niche uh, specific niche uh, like only Christmas related product like balloons uh, you talk about Christmas uh, Christmas theme uh, Christmas theme uh, party supplies and everything within that uh, niche so that's the estimate get increased a lot and we say 20x 20x it's relative because if you're selling nothing from one unit for example every day and then you get 20 units a day that's called 20x so it's all that take all this information and very um, 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 relatively it's not something that you really need to expect in a regular product that you, you that you really sell every day uh, within like five ten units yes you would get almost like 20 30 even uh, 40 units a day which is really expected and very possible and also q4 is the busiest time of the year uh, because there's a lot of organic traffic that comes to the website because everyone in the buying mode everyone wants to buy gifts for their loved ones and they also want to make sure that they have the gifts 
um, the gifts for their uh, uh, children, their boyfriends, their girlfriends, their uh, mothers and dads, and everyone buys multiple, multiple products. So you get a lot of traffic comes in to uh, to the site, and also Amazon themselves they do a lot of publicity about about uh, about their own uh, they market their their platform a lot and which makes it really attractive and they give a lot of good discounts they give a lot of uh, 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 special deliveries faster deliveries and everything within that thing so that's why you get a lot of a lot of traffic and as we know is Amazon is the it's number one online uh, business or platform in the world so for sure everyone's looking at it because of speed and everything else that comes with it and also why it's important q4 because sellers makes the most of their profit in these three months they make the most of it that's where a lot of people depend on amazon and make sure that hey if they make an average month uh, i don't know x amount of money they know in q4 they'll you know, they will clear all their products they'll make sure that they um if they're, if they're prepared right they will clear all their products and also at the same time they make the most of uh, most of the profits and even if there's dying products the products are not selling very well during the year they know during this q4 they can liquidate all these units which makes it very very profitable for them now let's talk uh, before we jump in and about um, uh, what to expect and how to prepare I just want to make sure that you understand how many sales events are happening within those three months why why that makes uh, makes it very special and what are the sales events that happens during that month that brings all the traffic and why people are buying through that specific month, which is Q4. And Q4 means quarter, uh, the fourth quarter. Now, sales dates and events, these are for 2019. So Halloween usually is October 31st. So a lot of products who, ha who are um, uh, Halloween re related, uh, for example, masks, costumes, for sure they're gonna get a lot of sales and also a lot of things like home and kitchen, uh, that really um, uh, booms within Halloween because people are making cakes, maybe making um, the treats and stuff like that if they're doing homemade stuff. And the second is Thanksgiving, which is on November 28th. Thanksgiving, you really get a lot of spike in sales um, in home and kitchen, arts and craft and everything else, which is really makes it very lucrative for you guys. And if you prepare right for it, you make really, really big spike in Thanksgiving. And also what we know is Black Friday, which is November 29th. Black Friday, it's it's a killer. It's a killer day. You can expect a lot of sales. You can expect a lot of volume, which is really good. And also Cyber Monday, which is December second. All these events that I'm talking about, guys, is already people are accustomed to it. Every year they're getting the same kind of sales. They're accustomed to buy. Uh, 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 they're accustomed to buy during that time and those specific days. So Black Friday, November 29th, Cyber Monday, which is December second. And also we have Christmas Eve is December 25th. Now Christmas Eve, I know the sales, they go down during, I mean, on the day of 25th because everyone do their sales uh, before that. Uh, usually the spike of sales happens in mid-November. That's where we've seen, uh, but could change, could be earlier, could be later, but will happen. And also you have Boxing Day, which is the day after Christmas Eve. Everyone ate the turkey, everyone did all the celebration. Then they need to shop with all these gift cards that they're getting, with all this money that they're getting from their uh, from their uh, families, which is Boxing Day, December 26th. And it's a really special day, a lot of marketing around it. Everyone's talking about it. If you see here in the on the slide, already have Black Friday sale, we have Halloween, we have Boxing Day, we have also New Year's, which is December 31st. A lot of people buy decoration stuff for December for the new year and a lot of things in New Year's before New Year's Eve everyone buy things about um, fitness product they have a new uh, a new journey they want to have a new goals for for uh, 2019 and the fitness industry and health and beauty really picks up a lot in New Year's Eve and the new year uh, so this is a really good decoration everything else home and kitchen it's a big big stuff and you guys are familiar with it if you guys, uh, you do Halloween, you do Christmas, you do New Year's, New Year Eve's, you know what kind of products that really go well. And uh, that's something I will be sharing with you guys, another video about how to choose a product that only specialize for seasons, for specific season and season products that I will share with you the method how to find a product and how to validate them ahead of the time. And I will be coming up with that video. I'm working on it right now. It's just stay tuned and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so once i come back come with that video you'll be able the first people to be notified 
And keep note, even if we prepare for all the year until New Year's Eve, don't forget, also in January, the momentum of sales, they keep coming. Why is that? Because people are still buying stuff. They have gift cards they want to buy. And usually we see that until mid of January, the sales are still maintaining the same velocity or a little bit slows down, but still being maintained. So be prepared for that, especially later on when we say how to prepare for it. Keep those events in mind because that's going to is a big deciding factor on how many units you need to order and to make sure that you have enough units uh, to sell. And at the same time, you don't want to be a double edged sword and, and this kind of thing. When you order units, if you order too much, you're going to stuck with with units. If you order let, uh, less, you're losing a lot of money, leaving a lot of money on the table. Now, what to expect and what are the things that to expect in, in fourth quarter? Now, I'm going to list all the stuff that the major things, if anything I missed, please leave it in the comment and I'll be able to comment on it. And I really appreciate you guys, your feedback and all the comments and all for the people who are really following and giving me ideas about the videos you'd like to see. So thank you again. But these are uh, the few things that uh, that I put in consideration for myself and also for my clients and also for the group. So what to expect? Number one, longer manufacturing lead time. So for people who doesn't know what manufacturing lead time is basically how long it takes for the manufacturer to produce your product. So what's the manufacturing process? How long would it take? Usually if it takes 30 to 40 days, um, this time is going to take longer because every seller is uh, placing their orders and they're placing a big amount of units. So it becomes overload on the uh, manufacturer so now it takes much longer time to get the product so instead of doing 30 days maybe it takes 40 or 45 days so put that in consideration and make sure you really uh, know that ahead of time so you can order earlier the other thing is going to be longer shipping time which is the same thing a lot of people are shipping products it's going to take uh, longer for you to get your product uh, there's not enough uh, ships i mean there's enough ships uh, but it's going to take longer because they're backed up with a lot, a lot, a lot of units to ship at a time. Now, also keep in mind that the shipping rates is going to be more expensive during that time. It's the same as us, the same as uh, uh, as any entrepreneur, as sellers. Uh, those shipping companies, they know they get people uh, that sellers need those products. They know that we can sell them for higher, so they will charge you much um, uh, more money. Uh, it could be two, three dollars uh, extra per kilogram. So keep that in mind. So make sure that you get your quotes from uh, from your supplier ahead of time to make sure that you're really getting uh, the best, the best, um, the best uh, shipping quote. And also maybe you need to change from air shipping to sea shipping just to save money if you're used to with air shipping, which is gonna uh, save you a lot of money. So you can order, for example, if you're ordering thousand units, maybe you can do two, three hundred units by air, and the rest can could be by sea, so you can save. At the same time, you can have some units available for sale. And by the time your other products comes in, you already have enough. Now, number four, Amazon storage fees increases by three to four times. During that time, Amazon want to make sure you do, do not overstuff their fulfillment center. So what they do, they charge you a lot. They charge you three to four times more than a regular month. And why is that? To make sure that only seasoned sellers who are sure about their products, to make sure that they have enough, enough products that they're really going to sell. They keep the sales through rate correct they want to keep them there and that's very important so keep in mind even if you order a lot you need to make sure that you have another um, fulfillment center or you store some in your garage and etc which is i'm going to talk about later on also now number five some selling restrictions there's some selling restrictions on toys and games category uh, i believe in only in that toys and games category because it's one of the most um, important categories that explodes in sales during Q4, everyone wants to buy a toy. Um, they have some restrictions. They don't want uh, new sellers uh, to sell things because it might uh, happen a lot of counterfeit and authentic claims. So they want to make sure only season sellers. So anybody who has like 15 sales, I believe 15 sales uh, on, under their belt um, before August, I think August 2nd, if I'm not sure, do not quote me on this, but something that already happened. Um, make sure uh, that you're qualified for it. If you don't know how to reach it, usually you receive an email. Um, you receive an email, hey, yes, you qualify for toys and games. You're good to go, so you're good. If you do not, or you don't know, you didn't receive them, uh, the email, maybe one trash or spam, just call Amazon and tell them, hey, is there any restrictions on my, on my product? Am I able to sell in those toys and games category if you really wanted to do that? Like one of the things that I started with my whole journey 
it's basically selling toys and games as a retail online arbitrage that's when i make the most of my money that's how i started so i know a lot of things so also i'm going back to canada because i'm now in vacation here in kuwait i'm going back just to make sure that i have enough inventory for retail online arbitrage besides my private label because i know it's really profitable during that time now let's talk about uh what uh, what to expect number six ppc spending and bids are higher everyone there they want to get the first spot they always want to increase their marketing budget to make the most sales so be prepared for that um, the spending is going to go high bids are going to go high per uh, per keyword if you're not used to spend a dollar you might go to dollar 50 or even two dollars or even two dollar fifty so three to four times the regular bids but if you're smart and you're already ranked already uh, you can have a lower bid and if you already position yourself correctly from now with your ppc your bids are going to go lower because you have relevancy and high conversion in your site which amazon loves and you'll be able to get those bids for lower and also if you want it you can t use um, uh, the asin targeting method or ppc targeting uh, sorry asin targeting or product targeting method with ppc to make sure that you are uh, getting a lower bid uh, and show up under another ace or another competitor's traffic they're already spending the money now number seven products prices increases so people willing to pay more so when times comes crunching time and everyone is the buying mode 100 percent they're willing to pay more so why i'm saying that that means even if you buy the product now and you needed to pay more for shipping or you wanted to pay more for uh, the per unit or whatever it is you will be able to sell your product for a few dollars higher which is really a good thing for us that's why a lot of people makes a lot of money because everyone everyone's mindset is hey i'm gonna buy buy product buy product and always associate which is very sadly a lot of people i mean sadly for people but good for us a lot of people associate higher price item with a good quality and the one they want to give something to a person they want to make sure that they're really giving something of a higher quality so keep in mind you can raise your prices which is i'm going to talk about also in in the next segment about how to prepare for it number eight huge organic traffic since everyone's a buying mode everyone wants to buy gifts it's going to come organic huge traffic that you will be able to sell uh, a lot of units from existing good products and also you'll be able to liquidate a lot of products that you're stuck with or things that didn't go your way that's the time for you to sell and it's actually a very good time if you want to launch a product even that's a question that a lot of people are asking hey should i sh should i launch a product during q4 every time or every month is a good time to launch a product but q4 is very good i know the competition is high but there's a lot of traffic that will substitute the negative things that could happen uh, hey competition is high yeah but also there's a lot of traffic that you'd be able to sell if you really the product was a dot you'll be able to sell it within that time because the traffic is there and people are buying are willing to buy number nine there are cutoff dates for having units available on amazon now what does it mean for cyber monday black friday um uh, if you want it for christmas time amazon will send you an email which is i we don't have yet amazon didn't send us that email it tells us hey the cutoff date for example for cyber monday will be like two weeks to three weeks prior if it's for christmas will be second of december those dates are going to happen so you need to make sure that your products are in the fulfillment center by that time to guarantee that they will be available for buyers now that doesn't mean if you ship them later you're not going to be able to sell them but it might be there's a chance you're not going to have enough time to have those products available to sell it happened to me i'm not saying you go ahead and do that i really make sure that you get your products in uh, i have done it multiple times where i didn't get my product in time even like a week later but i still get them available uh, but this is maybe special cases and don't forget they need to make sure you give them enough time because there's a lot of people sending units in and the fulfillment center and the employees they need more time to separate them to send them to the right fulfillment center to put them in the shelves so that's another thing you need to pay attention to okay so give enough time and that's why i'm doing this video early for you to pre prepare early okay now how to prepare everyone set and go as we see here guys things you need to do order your units asap so if you are already a seasoned seller you already have your products place an order place an order hey uh, i would like to place that many orders for that month blah 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 and make sure you get them as soon as possible 
make sure you place them as soon as possible because you will have enough time to get them without you rushing and if anything happens with the shipment maybe tariffs maybe anything you will avoid that so make sure you order them as soon as possible and if you're a new seller make sure that you're already doing your product research you're already uh, you're already um, uh, sourcing a product getting quotes to make sure that you will get within within uh, within um, within the next few weeks to get your products already and you place your order and you place your 30 percent down payment to make sure they start the manufacturing lead time and also if you do it as a new seller make sure that you can ask your supplier and make sure that they have a short-term manufacturing lead time or they can guarantee it make this is very important guys very important tip write it in your contract if have a deadline if they do it after that you are qualified for a full refund or a discount so to make sure you don't uh, that the, the the manufacturer they do not miss that specific date because if they miss it you will miss the window of q4 so i want to make sure that you do that and if you do that you're writing a contract they make sure they will do it and they don't want to lose the money so for sure they will fulfill it uh, fulfill your units and make sure you get them in time now order order products more than the usual now this is a very tricky question and i want to tackle it for two audiences we have seasoned sellers which is people are already selling which is very easy and then we have a new sellers now for seasoned sellers you guys know yourselves you have enough data so you have enough data to know if you need to order more or less than last year so if you order last year uh, a th thousand unit and you sold them all uh, in mid of uh, november or maybe mid of december you know that you need to order a little bit more okay and if you but if you order too much and you didn't sell them at that time you don't need to order less okay now for new sellers which is a very tricky because they don't have what's the average they don't know how many units you need to order usually if you get a product that um, uh, have a constant sales du during the year and uh, they make 500 units usually you need around two to three x of that you multiply now this is not a hard roll this is a very safe side to do it at 2x or 3x this is how you're comfortable with if you're not comfortable do not do it do not hold me responsible for it but i would order two to three times more than the average month so if i have 500 i might need to order 1500 units a thousand to uh, 1500 units now what's nice about this guys for both of you season sellers and new sellers if you order more than what anticipated that you cannot maybe sell all in uh december on the q4 you still have january and you still have february uh, you still have q1 of the next year so the units are not gonna go away but this is, becomes very tricky if you have a very very bad product you really messed your you messed it when it comes to product selection i hope you watch my video about product a uh, product research so please go watch it that will minimize your your uh, your issue a lot uh, and the other thing in january and february usually the chinese holiday starts within that time so you need to place a new order anyways in january to make sure that you get it before the chinese new year chinese new year i'm not sure about the time but usually around february or something like that or end of january where uh, uh all the manufacturers they take around two weeks to four weeks uh, uh, uh holiday and times off which is everything stalls so worst case scenario you will have enough unit for january and for q1 that's that's very nice for products that already good but if you have a very niche uh, product that's only good for christmas like christmas tree christmas lights uh christmas uh, dinnerware whatever it is that's going to be very tricky that means you're going to get stuck with them because people are not going to use them in january february so that's my uh, rule of thumb and that's what i recommend now number three optimize your listing from now think about how you optimize your listing first of all you need to optimize your images so already talk to your designer to your fiverr guy to your upwork whoever you deal with to make sure that he has a new pictures for you or images that they can involve the holiday theme with it so maybe you want to put a bow maybe you want to ornament maybe you want to put santa in the back whatever it is to make sure that everyone comes in with this warm feelings that they, hey we are in holidays holiday theme uh, we appreciate christmas that the one this look at the pictures they know something they can relate to and you tap their emotions and you, they will be able to buy from you so it's very very important to work on your images now the second thing you need to work on on your copy so your title your bullet points and your back end now title and bullet points try to make something that hey uh, holidays i mean put holidays in put christmas 
uh, a great gift from mom and dad, stuff like that. Uh, if you want in the bullet points, the same thing, mention those holiday stuff, uh, mention, you know, if your product really can say, hey, it's perfect, warm um, uh, product that you can buy while you're sipping a tea, while you're watching, uh, while your kids opening the gifts or something under the tree or whatever, something like that. I'm not good with words. I know what I want. So my copywriter, our service for listing optimization does that for me. And I tell them exactly what I need and they will uh, have uh, the proper English. They have the proper, um, the proper writing to make sure that they really give me engaging uh, listing that has a lot of emotion, which is really important. And the other thing is to make sure that you have in the back end that you're being indexed back end, which is I made another video about indexing uh, the things that you need to do before you run your PPC or uh, you run your PPC or launch your product. Please go ahead and watch it. All, all the other stuff in the back end that going to make sure that you're indexed for or the spots or the spaces that you can fill some keywords to make sure that you're being indexed for. So on the back end, you put holidays, you put Christmas, you put Santa, you put, um, uh, I don't know, gift mom for dad, whatever it is you want to do it, put it in the back end, which is very good. I usually put, hey, a Christmas gift, I can put um, 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 a great uh, holiday, uh, holiday uh, gift, holiday special, Christmas special, a Black, a Black Friday special, stuff like that, Cyber Monday special, whatever you want, put it in the back end, which is, give you enough time to get indexed usually it takes 24 to 48 hours to get indexed so make sure you do that now and when you optimize your listing you need in the back end where you edit your listing you need to make sure where the offer tab is where the offer tab at the bottom there is gift option make sure this thing is checked why is that because gift option means if if you've been clicked it's gonna show when someone buys it hey there is a gift option that means amazon can wrap the product in a nice gift uh, uh gift um a gift um uh, can wrap it in a gift and a gift wrap and also they would not include the price so when you send to someone else to make sure that they benefit and they'll be able to get it in a really nice packaging that they'll be happy with which is they pay extra for it but it's a very good thing to do okay and also the things you need to do increase your prices when Q4 comes, as I mentioned, a lot of traffic comes again and people are willing to pay extra, extra, uh, extra money for your product, which is really, 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 really important. Do not leave money, uh, money on the table. And now when you increase the price, increase it. Why? Because a lot of sellers are not watching this video. <laughs> I think so. Why is that? A lot of them are going to run out of stock when they run out of stock. That means supply and demand. Supply is low, demand goes high, the prices goes high, the same thing. Okay, in the beginning, everyone's selling, everyone's good, but a lot of them you're gonna see at the last two weeks, they're gonna run out of, out of stock. And that's the time for you to come in, increase your price, and you'll be able to make those sales, especially for private label products, guys. Now, number four, if you're a new seller, now is the time for you to rank your new products from now, okay? Um, now is the best time when in, um, uh, before uh, November is the best time when you have a product in to be able to rank it. Why is that? Because the prices are lower. The price is, uh, sorry, the, uh, the bid or PPC spending is much lower. There's lower competition. You'll be able to rank the product faster at lower cost. So it's the best time to do it because now let's say everyone's selling 100 or let's say 300 units. Oh, you know what? Let's take it this way. Let's say if you have to give 100 units to make sure you rank, and when it comes to Q4, there's a lot of traffic. It could be maybe 300 or 400. So it's gonna, the cost is going to go more. So make sure if you have any product you want to launch, make sure you launch it sooner than later to make sure that you rank faster and to be able to rank in the first pa page um, uh, uh, without costing you too much. It uh, doesn't mean if you, you have the product there, uh, you won't be able to rank it. Yes, you will be able to rank it later, but it's going to cost you a little bit more and a little bit more competition. Okay. And if you see now, uh, which is the new video I'm coming with, is about how to find season products, you will see now a lot of uh, Christmas products are um, already being launched. And if you see there's nothing in them, but they're being indexed, they're being ranked for it with little to no sales, which is really good thing for you to think about. Number five, be ready for, for higher return rates. When people buy products, they're gonna buy a lot of volume. If you have a lot of volume, you're gonna have higher return rate than at an average month so an average month maybe you have one to two percent return rate when that when q4 comes you're gonna have much 
more return percentage, return rate percentage, uh, because of the sales velocity or the sales volume. And the other thing, a lot of people that buying gifts for other people, they might not like, so they might return it. So be prepared for that and do not freak out if it happens. It's a part of the business, but the money that you're gonna make is gonna outweigh any returns that comes in. And most likely you'll be able, hey, to resell it, you'll be good to go. Number six, provide exceptional customer service. If anybody have inquiry, everyone, it's in a very, very stressful time in Q4. Everyone have the questions, maybe a customer emails you, maybe customer wants something, make sure you provide exceptional customer service. Me, I always, always, always provide exceptional customer service regardless of the time of the year, but that, that time I'll make sure that I'm on top of my phone, me and my team to make sure that if they have any, any question, I'll be able to answer them as soon as possible. And why this is important, especially for people who are doing FBM, fulfilled by merchant. A lot of times people want the product the day after, today, or two days later. Make sure, uh, happened to me, I used to, used to sell Nintendo, um, Nintendo uh, video games and games. And someone called me like two days before, I was like, hey, please, can you ship it fast to me? Because I really don't have, I'm really in a very tight uh, time, blah, blah, blah. I made sure I do it there. I give them one day delivery. I shipped it to them and they were so happy, even that I would charge them like $150 higher at that time than the purchase price that I bought. So for me, it was nothing, but they were happy and that means a lot. Now, number seven, add promotions and coupons to your listing. So if you have promotion, hey, if you have uh, multiple products in your, in, your, um, in your brand, hey, buy this, get this. If you buy this or buy two, uh, if you buy this and this, you will get this. Uh, buy two, get one free or buy this and this, get 10%, whatever it is. Uh, if you don't have a lot of brands, you can say, hey, buy two and uh, get 8%. If you buy three and more, you get five per, uh, 7%. If you buy five and more, maybe get 10%. So be able to have these promotions displayed in your listing, which is really important. And also use the coupon clipped, which as I explained before, the coupon clips is basically uh, to have a 5% uh, discount uh, usually. A lot of people do not claim them, but they're very good for grabbing attention because it's going to be this green thing that shows up in, in the search results, which has got people's attention and you're gonna make the sale. So be sure about that. Number eight, this is just because guys, I love you and because I really care about you and that's a mistake I have done. Do not spend all the profit that you make from Q4 uh, on stupid things. And I'm sorry if I say stupid things because trust me, I have done it, I spend it on uh, it could be maybe new wheels and new rims <laughs> on my truck. Uh, it could be on little vacations that not not necessary at that time. Reinvest it in a new products and grow your business. So whatever profit you come, think about what's the next product in line that you want to launch for your product. Make sure you launch it. Make sure you sp expand that that brand with multiple products. Because honestly, uh, from personal experience and from all the people that I coach. If you have one product, it's very hard for you to put all your energy on one product to maintain this specific rank or the specific position to have this maintain that amount of sales. If you have multiple units, it's much easier. You don't need to um, go ahead and to make sure that you're always in spot number one or top five or whatever it is. Uh, all the average of sales that comes from all the products, it's really uh, would be nice, would be consistent sales. And God forbid if you have one product and you get, I don't know, you get uh, your listing suppressed or something, um, you will lose all the money. So don't put your eggs all in one basket. Uh, I know that I know your budget is some of you, the, their budget is very small. So please, please make sure that you reinvested. Uh, I know it's a very beautiful time. Your phone is going to ring a lot. You'd be like, oh my God, sale, sale, sale. And you just hear ding, 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 ding. And it's really, really beautiful feelings. But always think about how, what's your next product, how you differentiate it. And please do that. Uh, this is just from me to you guys. I mean, this is just because I care about you guys and I don't want you to do the same mistake I did. It's up to you. It's your business. It's your money. But this is for me to tell you, suffer right now. Later on, you're going to have a very, very good life. You'll be, have enough money to do those stupid things that you want. You want to buy that, uh, that new car. You want to buy that vacation. You want to buy this new wheels, rims, whatever. It's going to happen. But make sure you secure your business. And after that, you do that. So, guys... So basically, I want to thank you and have a killer holiday, just exactly like this Santa Claus that's really mad. I wish you guys killed this Christmas and make sure that you're making all this profit, uh, applying all 
these um, applying all these techniques that I sh shared with you and today I shared with you um, what's Q4 why is important what to expect what to expect how to prepare and all the tips and tricks that I have and I hope you guys really really like this video I hope you guys have a lot of value benefit a lot from it and please if you find this is very useful share it with your peers share it with your friends and uh, and please please if you like the video subscribe and like and leave a comment and if any question you have I read all your messages I reply to all of them please I'll leave your comment and uh, I really thank you. Thank you so much for your support and have yourself a killer holiday and a killer week. Take care, everybody.